hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be one of my favorites as you know i love doing an unboxing video i have a terrible addiction to purses and these are always the best part for me just getting my first impressions and sharing them with you guys so we're going to be covering the brandon blackwood esr i.e antisemic racism tote in lime green and I'm super excited about it. This is probably the boldest color purse I've ever seen and it definitely has a message to it as well. So I think those two characteristics about the bag play very well hand in hand. I'll give you a little bit of background for those of you that don't know about Brandon Blackwood and his line and how it all got started. So let's get into it. All right, so I ordered this bag back in March when, I think it was March, when he restocked the ESR tote line. I had been kind of out of stock for a while and I just happened to be looking on Instagram and Brandon Blackwood, the founder of the company, um, and or whoever runs their Instagram site, I guess, uh, let people know that it was everything was back in stock. And these bags are super affordable. I think I actually got this one for, it was either 80 or $85. Um, so it was great. Um, it was a little bit of a, a backlog, or maybe I did it on pre-order, I can't really remember. Um, but it, it took about a month for it to finally ship to me, but it is amazing. All right, so got the shipping box here, and it came in this little dust bag, which says, let's see if you can see it. It's got Brandon Blackwood, New York, on the front of it. So this is probably um, the most see-through dust bag I've ever gotten, but I'm not worried about this purse, you know, being too much affected by light or dust. It's a canvas material, and I'll get into that in a second. And it's got this like drawstring on it here. These two little strings here. Um, nothing on the back, just a plain little kind of like see-through. I don't know what material this is, but a little little dust bag on that, so that's awesome. All right, so before we get into this, let's give a little background on Brandon Blackwood. He was born and raised in New York and um, kind of spent time traveling between there and Tokyo and decided to launch his handbag line a few years ago. Yeah, launching in 2015. I think this one came out in like 2020. You might have like seen it. On, if you follow Kim Kardashian, she posted this bag on her Instagram site. I think she had the tan canvas not exactly sure the official color, but she had this on her Instagram page. So I really am very excited about this one. It has such a message and it is such a statement piece with the color of it. Um, so I'm super excited about it. So let's get straight into it. So like I said, it's just a drawstring bag. And then pulling it out, this is what we have. There you go. See, it says end the systemic racism. All right, so the overall dimensions of this bag are seven by six by two and three quarters. And the shoulder strap, which I'll show you guys in just a second, is tw has a 20 inch drop on it. All right, and this bag was, I think, designed and possibly made in New York City. Definitely designed for sure. Just getting a zoomed, a closer look at this bag. Yeah, so it's this just plain, regular, like canvas material. It's got the stitching all around the sides here so the antisemic racism is in this silver hardware silver metal hardware and then on either side you have these d rings um because it does come with a strap i'll show you guys that in a second um i'm not exactly sure what material this is maybe like a leather or a vegan leather um and then same thing on the other side so it's kind of like on either side so if you look at this way it's kind of on the right or left i guess depending on my right and then oh wait just kidding maybe if you have there you go so there's a better look here so one's on this side on the back and then one is on the front so when you do put the strap on it kind of crosses it which i think will be really good once i put it crossbody um that'll have a nice effect on it and then it has these silver feet here down on the bottom so that's great it is a canvas material so i'm a little bit worried about how it's going to do um with like water and stuff i might try to see if i can find if you guys know of any like spray that you can put on top of your purse maybe to protect it maybe something similar i'm guessing to like what people put on sneakers i don't know but 
it is a very porous material it's canvas so i'm a little like concerned that if i spill something i'm gonna have to say it's a professional cleaner that'll be the it of it i don't know so um i am a little i'm going to be using this bag wearing this bag very cautiously um i don't think i'm gonna take it like out to the bars or anything but you know what i'm saying i'm going to dinner i'm gonna just be like and sit this on the table like and did <laughs> but yeah anyway like i said it has this these um, little silver feet nothing imprinted on them i don't think um but i think that's really really great so it's not just laying up against the canvas on the bottom and then the back is just plain um just regular canvas here across the back and then let's look at so the handle there you go so there is a detailed look at the handle it's got i don't even know what you would call that just like interesting like woven stitching i'd say um on the handle but it's the same material canvas all right and then getting into the inside of this bag uh, it is held closed by this metal magnetic clasp here also with the silver hardware and the inside of the bag interestingly is like this yellow color um, which is kind of cool it's a nice little contrast yellow and green i feel like is goes very well nice together first thing you saw here on top is the strap so this is the 20 inch drop strap that i was talking about and it has silver hardware on these clasps, clasps as well and they swivel so um which is always great that way you don't have to worry about the orientation of it when you put it on and it is the same color kind of it's more it's the same color as the strap i think this or the excuse me the handles i think the handles are slightly different color obviously then the bag itself so a little bit of contrast there it's kind of like three different greens i think on this bag which is very interesting and then i got the stuffing in here i'm just going to take that out probably keep that um the way it holds its shape when i do put it back in the dust bag when i'm storing it i will say too that this magnet is pretty strong like I'm pulling it with like just a regular amount of force, whatever that means, like, and it's not coming undone. I kind of really got to pop it open, you know what I mean? Um, so I think that's really good for security. So that's awesome. So it's got this like yellow, like cotton material lining on the inside. Um, and then looking a little closer, ooh, um, there's a tag here that says Brandon Blackwood, New York, as well. I feel like this bag is pretty much similar size to what I've seen on the Telfar bags. I don't actually own one i do have friends that have one and it looks about the same size the mini it's a mini tote though they're very popular right now so it's like i would say similar style to that um even when you kind of look at the stitching look at the stitching along the sides of the bag here kind of goes and yeah i'm kind of obsessed with obviously you guys know that i love a mini bag but the tote They've definitely been in style recently, last year or two, whatever. I'm here for it. I was looking at this Chloe tote bag. You might see that coming soon on my channel. It looked really cute. We're gonna see. Yeah, when I was first looking at ordering this bag, I was debating between this one and then there was another one that was like green color as well, but it was more of a snake skin. Um, it was a $300 difference though, so I'm guessing it must have been real snake skin. So this might actually be real leather here on the side. I'm not sure. This color is just so vibrant is popping if you will uh, i just had to go with this one and it was only i think 80 or 85 dollars which was super great on retail very much a nice spring color summer color bag so i'll be wearing this for the next few months as much as i can um, although i'm not really a person who really cares that much about oh like wearing white after labor day i'll wear white after labor day i don't really care that much about it but uh, I think it definitely fits for the season that we're in. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this strap a little bit more. So I'm gonna take off this um, cardboard wrapping that they had around it and unfold it. So this is what you get. Like I said, pretty much the same material as the handle. And to kind of get an idea of like the thickness of it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the D-rings. Back up a little bit. Okay, so that is, and this, this strap is not adjustable. That would be great if it was, but you know what? It's not too bad. Um, I'm five, 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 six. So um, let's see what that looks like when I stand up. So yeah. 
So yeah, like I said, I'm like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, so when I wear it on my shoulder just like this, I have these high waist pants on today um so my waist is like pretty much here at the top of these pants but my hips are like like right here essentially so it kind of falls like right at my hip when i have it just wearing it on my shoulder like this and then putting a cross like ooh, look at that it looks so good okay and then wearing a cross body like this it falls a little bit higher up like the, the the handle is kind of more like at my waist and this is somewhere like halfway in between my hip and my waist y'all look at that she looks good she looks good Ooh. okay and you know what i think like it goes really well with white you guys are gonna be seeing a couple of outfits of me in white in this bag because it just it pops so good and then you know what if you really wanted to as well um you could carry it like this with the strap kind of hanging down on it you know what i mean um it's kind of hard to see right now but it's coming down to like the middle of or actually like my ankle when i like drop it down low next you're gonna be seeing me style this bag um i have actually have a picture of my instagram too or a few pictures on my instagram of this bag as well so i'll be including that in the styling portion of this video uh dressing it up dressing it down a little bit i actually have a dress that matches perfectly with this when does that ever happen never you're gonna be seeing that too so super great okay guys so this is the outfit you saw me wearing earlier in the video um so i just got this white bodysuit that i got from zara and these high-waisted jeans i think i also got this from zara honestly zara at this point you should sponsor me let's talk um but no i'm just putting the bag um wearing it in different ways so i saw it just holding it by the handle a second ago putting it on my shoulder and now i have a crossbody here um just like i showed earlier i think this is my favorite way to wear it with this like casual outfit of these like white platform nikes that i've had for a couple of years absolutely love these sneakers um but now dressing it up more so here is my second outfit or i guess the third if you get my instagram picture but look at this y'all like i said when do you ever find when you have a dress that matches your purse exactly like as soon as i got the purse in hand i was like yo this is crazy but yeah it's a super cute little cutout on the back dress bodycon that i got from Battyville. And I just paired it with some neutral heels since this color matching is kind of a lot. Even my nails are green in this video, which I just realized. Um, but yeah, super cute. Um, just kind of dressing it up a little bit more um, versus the first outfit. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that I didn't cover let me know as always down in the comment section you know that you guys know that i respond pretty much to everybody's comments so if there's anything any comment that you want to have any question that you have let me know and i will get back with you guys thanks for watching bye